What's up, people? Dovey Doubles here. N new horror update. Just got back from K Town, aka Knoxville. And a good Friday it has been. Got a pretty beefy haul. Got my first package from Diabolic DVD. Got a couple eBay pickups and an Amazon pickup. So let's get right into it. I got three non horrors here, so we'll go ahead and get them out of the way. So you horror fiends can be satisfied. The rest of it's all horror, no worries. All right, today, uh, Dragon Dynasty 3 pack, the Jet Lee collection. This is the Legend, Fist of Legend, and Tachi Master. I love the Dragon Dynasty and I love Jet Lee. All individual discs, feels like they're all, it's pretty heavy, so pretty sure. And, uh, Fist of Legend is a tribute to Fist of Fury. Definitely uh, Bruce Lee films. So I'm stoked, stoked, stoked for that one. Check that out. Uh, next one. Love me some martial arts and some samurai shit. And I love me some Takeshi Miike. So glad to finally check this one out. 13 Assassins. Looks pretty badass to me. And good out of print comedy pickup. Been looking for this forever. Never find this. Never see the city stores. Goes for pretty crazy prices on uh, Amazon, eBay, and shit. And that is Hootie Tang, directed by Louis C.K. Sip a cow on a sippy day. One of my favorite comedies. I love that movie. Uh, Walmart got this for seven fifty. I don't know, I've been interested to check this out for a while, and I've heard a lot of good things. I've heard a few people not too crazy about it, but I remember seeing the trailer a while back and it looked cool to me. It's like it's sinister. Interested to give this a peek. Uh, I went to McKay's today. Shouts to David K. He's been posting mad shit on his road trip going to McKay's in uh, Nashville and Chattanooga. Love the McKay's. I've been want to check those out. Wish you to come up to Knoxville. We could have hit that shit up together, but it's all good. Um, got a few decent pickups from there. Some I'm gonna save for the end of the update. Some out of the out of print gems. Um, first one I got was five dollars though on Blu-ray. That is Dead Sushi. Interested? <laughs> this looks hilarious. Killer Sushi. Sounds like a trauma plot or something. Over this hot craziness. Alright, got this at Target. <laughs> Target. Um, yeah, I heard great things about it. And I think this was $7. I heard nothing. But, oh, this is Best Buy for $7.50. I heard nothing but good things. Stoker. Director of Old Boy. And what's the name? Chan Ho Park. It's pretty cool stuff from what I've seen. So yeah, let's check that out. Another McKay's pickup. This was six bucks. Another one I've been interested in seeing for a long time. That is the Silent Night, Deadly Night remake. Maybe reimagining Silent Night, Santa with a flamethrower. So probably hear my thoughts on this in my Christmas in July series. So. <laughs> That'll be a little bit, but it's only a couple months away. Alright, my first haul from Diabolic or Diabolic DVD. Uh, Sergio Martino. <clears throat> Cheesy ass movie in light of like a Jaws or Piranha. I've never seen the trailer for this forever ago. I've actually seen this on Conan O'Brien show clips from this. What a hilarious man. That is alligator. Pretty sure I've seen Moods pick this one up. Always loved that uh, cover art on that, man. I have a poster of that. But cheesy killer alligator film. Sergio Martino. Um, I'm thinking Sergio Martino. Yeah. So, yeah. Stuck for that. I overspent on this. 
not really on the diabolic uh, hookup. I got like seven shits for like 90 bucks. One I like to spend, but it's all top notch, hard to find shit. I do end up being like a hundred. It was actually like a hundred. But yeah, this is a synapse film I've been wanting to see for fucking ever. Heavy metal horror from the 80s. Must have metal horror movies from the 80s, what IMDb says about it. And that is Black Roses. This just looks right up my alley. Fun time, like Trick or Treat, any kind of rock fucking horror, I'm there. I even like Heavy Metal, which I'm not, a lot of people seem to hate by trauma. That was cool. I want to see uh, Mr. Briggs. Metal musical about trauma. And this one, the whole reason I got on Diabolic to even order anything at all. Shouts out to Lost Witch Adrian, formerly known, the artist formerly known as Lost Witch Z. Um, for Diabolic DVD. I know a lot of you other guys like uh, Spooky Rotten and Moods, a lot of you guys like them. And I love them too now. Um, nothing but good things. Finally get to check this out. This is my next watch here in about fucking 10 minutes when I get done with this. Adam Chaplin. I finally get to see this gore best of a movie. Finally. Adam Chaplin. Alright. And I wanted the blue ground blue underground versions of this. If y'all remember a while back from my old update. Got the DVD movie. Which is the name of the company, I think. Release of Cat and Nine Tails. And I didn't even check the transfer because I was kind of filling up shit. I just went ahead, got this puppy. Blue Underground, Cat and Nine Tails. Hell yeah. And to just go ahead and complete the collection, the trilogy. I have seen this movie, it's been a while. Uh, it's a masterpiece from what I remember. I mean, Argento's my favorite director, as y'all know, so. Four Flies on Grey Velvet. Animal Trilogy complete. Now, this is a cheese fest. I remember seeing the VHS of this when I was a little man. This cover just always intrigued me. And I'm sure it's a cheese fest. Looks awesome. Blue Underground release. Uh, William Lustig. Directed. Uncle Sam. The holographic badass version there. I love it. That'll probably be my next watch after Adam Chapler. Or possibly this movie. Another shout out to Lost Witch. Introduced me to this movie. Looks insane. I know he's got the badass fucking media book version. But I ain't got that kind of dose to fork out right now. And that is Diabolique. Not to be confused with the old school black and white. Masterpiece of Diabolik, which I love that one too. This just looks amazing. Trailer and soundtrack. After I just watched that, I was like, all right, ordered. So, yeah. Uh, two quick flea market pickups from last weekend, two bucks a piece. Always love when you see a fucking company, you just don't expect to see a flea market. I mean, I, you see mainstream, you'll see Scream and this mainstream shit at the flea market usually. When you see a something weird video, a beast that killed women, double feature with monster at Cap Sunshine, <laughs> like, hell yeah. Um, I've, and it's got like a bunch of short films, short nudie camp films. I don't know if y'all know about those, like in the 60s, that was kind of their first experiment with like nudity and mainstream of nudity and, uh, horror film or not just horror films but just in theaters in general and they did a kind of documentary style like just nudist camps and children people chilling at the beach and shit nude beaches there's a bunch of those on the bonus features um just, this looks like funny cheesy schlocky good goodness uh Slowly but surely trying to build my Masters of Horror. I've like only got two right now. And got the screw fly solution, Joe Dante. Love me some Joe Dante. Gremlins. 
Gremlins, Goonies, John Bingo, another one, but those two films especially watched religiously when I was little. Gremlins and Goonies. So Gremlins, anything he does, I love Piranha. I think he's awesome. I love the Howling. Joe Dante. It's pretty damn tight. So I'm interested to see this. I haven't seen much of his new, or anything newer that he's doing, so seen 80s back. Uh, eBay order. These were seven bucks a piece. Brand spanking new. Buy it now. I know the dude had a bunch, so if you're interested in these, go check them out on eBay. And another one, I was I rented this on VHS back in the day. I was like 12, 13, when I first getting into horror movies. Loved these movies. So I can't wait to revisit them. It's been years, man. It's been over 10 years since I've watched these. Stepfather. Synapse release. Or no, this is not Synapse release. The Shout Factory release, I'm sorry. Uh, Stepfather. Hell yes. And then the Synapse release. Synapse release, I'm sorry. Of Stepfather 2. Bada bing, bada boom. I remember that one being pretty cool too. Him getting out of prison and shit. So, spoiler alert, take that out. But I remember that one being pretty cool. And one of the ultimate hookups. Y'all probably seen this on Facebook when I posted. Uh, 15 bucks, Blue Underground Collection. I remember when this shit used to go for like well over 60 bucks out of print shit I'm pretty sure it's still out of print um, Blue Underground Collection Christopher Lee Collection still sealed I need to get on watching these but you got the Fu Manchu which I'm interested in checking out um, I've got the Brides of Fu Manchu uh, I forgot what company released that I want to say MGM or something but anyway I have put off watching that because I wanted to watch the, the OG ones the originals Blood of Fu Manchu, Castle of Fu Manchu, and Circus of Fear looks awesome, and Bloody Judge. Christopher Lee, Vincent Price, my two favorite horror, con horror icons. I'd put Vincent Price is that much more over him. I had to pick my favorite horror, horror icon. My favorite horror icon would be Vincent Price. But Christopher Lee, man, loves everything, man. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now my last two out of print pickups. Um, one of these was nine dollars, the other one was eight. Out of print, so I had to pick them up at McKay's. The first one was eight bucks. Howling two. I've seen this on my like Showtime actually, but it's been a while. And I remember Christopher Lee's in it, uh, Sybil Danning. I remember it being pretty cheesy and <laughs> bad, but I'm going to revisit it. I love original Howling. I know a lot of sequels kind of get for me. But I actually have all the Howlings now. This was the pick of the week. Pick of fucking year, in my opinion. I want to see this movie forever and forever and forever. Eight bucks. This be strange. Hell, yes. Salem's Lot. Yes. Yes. Toby Hooper's made for TV movie. I'm sure you all you cats already know that. Stephen King's classic novel. Salem's Lot. Well, that'll wrap it up, guys. Promise I'll get on them overviews real fucking soon. Might be next weekend, but I'll try to get the film on this week. So, yeah. Glad to be back. I'll try to be commenting on your videos. Sorry, I've been busy. I've been commenting on a lot of cats. A lot of people like watching. Um, yeah, much love you guys.